Good morning, roadies. I'm Dan, and uh, last night we sent, stayed at a harvest host right here in Ocean Springs, Mississippi, and we had a fabulous time. It was at the Fort Bayou Brewing Company. Uh, they also had a restaurant called the Cypress Tap House, and this was incredible. In fact, you can see our rig over there. We we're on pavement, it was awesome. The food was fantastic. Keith, the proprietor and host, was very welcoming and uh, we had great conversation with him. So again, thank you Keith for a wonderful time we spent. This will not be the last time. If you're ever in Ocean Springs, Biloxi area in Mississippi, definitely stop by, even if you don't have an RV, because the food and the beer was fantastic. Anyways, let's head on to Texas. So yes, we are feeling a lot better. Uh, a lot of it has to do with the location we're staying at for a week. Uh, it's so secluded, but it's only got a population. The town has a population of like less than 3,700. Yeah. But today is 2-22-2022, which is National Margarita Day. It's National Margarita Day, so that's exactly what we're going to do. We're headed to go... So, well, the one restaurant we know we can get a margarita, which is the Mexican Los restaurant. Cobas. Is that what the name of it is? Yeah. We ate there already. There was a bug flying there. Uh, yeah, so we're going to go get ourselves a margarita and probably get some chips and salsa. After that, we're probably going to go see the biggest live oak tree in Texas. And we'll take some footage of that, show you all the specs on, on that particular tree. Yep, and then we're probably going to drive around through this town a little bit more and try to get some b-roll because live oaks are everywhere here in fact we even saw one that was that the road was built around so hopefully we get that footage so yeah this is a cool little um a little park that we're staying the town's kind of cool it's right off of i-10 we are staying at thousand trails colorado river and it is in columbus texas which is probably what it's in between uh, San Antonio and, and Houston, Houston, but I think it's closer to the Houston area. Yeah. And we're going to give you some footage of that as well. Definitely. So stay tuned and enjoy us for our margarita. Yeah, we're going to be showing you our margaritas when we get there. Hit the bridge. Are those cowbells? What is that? I need more cowbell. So, like we promised you, it's National Margarita Day. So here we are with our margaritas uh, here at the one and only Los Cabos. Yeah. Los Cabos here in Columbus, Texas. It was very good. We had a dinner here. And we actually made three meals out of, or two more meals out of our leftovers that we had. <laughs> yeah, there was no way we was going to be able to eat Huge. That <laughs> Proportions are huge, but the margaritas are great, so. Are you bringing the RV down here? <laughs> Although you might be able to make, make it through here, but this is so cute. You can see where they've already cut off something.
So this is another nightly activity we enjoy with Ava. Uh, we bring her out, take her to the dog park. Now this one is extremely small. I would say that's the one con about this park. And it's very small because at least there is a park, a dog park. So it's better than nothing, but I wish it was a little bit bigger because they have all the space over here, space up there. They can, they could have made it a little bit bigger. Yeah, plenty of space yeah. that could have been made. Uh, we think this park was moved from the other park that they had. And we've seen in some other reviews where they had a lot of stick bushes in in there that would get on their, the their paws. The sand, spurs, I think. sand spurs. So we think they maybe have moved it over here. The posts are still in there, but the fence is no longer there. We need to wear Ava out, so this is how we get out of her energy. She's run back and forth. At least she brings it back. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. She likes it. It works for her. How's this? How's this? Sometimes she just wants off leash. Yeah, unfortunately with a the husky, they like to run, so she's either walking with us because we don't run with her um, and she wants to always be on the move. So the only time she gets off leash is if we have an enclosed park. There is no water spigot here at the dog park though. Um, I know a lot of dog parks, they'll have the, the water spigot there that you can use. There is nothing here, but we're not that far away, so. It's a crawler can, it's a 32 ounce can to go. Uh, whenever somebody orders one, we write the name of the beer and the style and the ABV and the date it was canned. Get you some can tops. First, you're going to rinse the can out. Purge the can of all the oxygen with CO2. And then fill it. You bring it over to the can machine. Turn it on and seal the top. And you've got a can of beer to go. So this is our last day at Colorado River. Thousand Trails and we're in Columbus, Georgia. Georgia. Where are we? Columbus, Texas. Columbus, Texas. Okay. <laughs> but in the background, you can see Ava running around. She loves that dog park, even though it's small. But let's go over to see the laundry room, which is over where your check-in is. This is the check-in building. This is actually where you would bring your RV when you come in. Park over here. So you can check into your site. For Thousand Trails members, it's you pick your own site. You've got several choices. You can pick a 30 amp 
or a 50 amp. You can be in the new section, which has an upgraded 50 amp uh, charge of $10 a night. The other 50 amp in the older sections are only $3 a night and your 30 amp is free. There are some with sewer, without sewer, you get to choose. Here is the laundry room. And this laundry room is open 24 hours a day. It looks like it does take quarters. You can also pay by credit card. Looks like they got four washers and four dryers. Looks like it's a $1.25 for the dryers and $2 for the washers. So this is the activity room. So you get the picnic table, you get the fire ring. This is quite a large sized spot for us. This of course is in the new area. It is a $10 upgrade charge. You get your 50 amp. But 50 amp in the other area was a $3 upcharge. So for $7 more, we got the newer larger sites and they've got the stone dirt um, spots but every once in a while they have concrete and those are the handicapped spots and they've got about five or six of them we'll count them and find out exactly how many handicapped spots they have here in the brand new bathroom right here on the new section of the campground and they are actually still working on it and I'm going to explain what they did uh, today these are the two showers that are in here they're very nice uh, I did use this one the other day but they didn't have any hooks what I noticed today is they aren't actually done with it even though they've got it open for their customers and uh, today they put in a wall and this and they're going to have some more, I guess, a curtain that's going to go across on for both of them. And they're going to have a little dry area where you can, I assume they're going to put like a little stool or something where you can put your clothes, plus have some hooks for your towels and stuff. So uh, these are really nice bathrooms. And they've got about three of these throughout the campground, one in each section. So also in their amenities, they do have a basketball court. They have a volleyball court right here. And they have shuffleboard. So this is the outdoor golf cart drive-in. They show movies every Friday night. And this, folks, is a Colorado River. And this is another gem that they've got here at Colorado River Thousand Trails. They've got an 18-hole golf course. Put what that is and uh, they are very well taken care of all you have to do is go ahead and get your equipment at the management section and come out here and enjoy yourself it's kind of cold and windy so we're not playing putt-putt uh, today 
that is about it for Colorado River Thousand Trails right here in Columbus, Texas. And um, I gotta say, this is one of the better Thousand Trails that wasn't an encore that we really liked. We definitely will be stopping through. It's a beautiful, Columbus, Texas is a beautiful city or town. It's only got a population of about 3,600 people in there, but they've got a great brewery. They've got an HEB and Walmart in there. They've got Shobel's restaurant, which is like buffet style and uh, a nice Mexican restaurant, Los Cobos that we tried. And we absolutely love it. It's a small town with a big community feeling. So we will definitely come back here when it's warmer. Hey, if you like this video or any of our videos, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell if you wanna be notified the next time we got another great video coming out. From Thousand Trails, Colorado River in Columbus, Texas, where will the road take you? Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights 